Is it on? Yeah. Cool. So today all I want to talk about a little bit is about insulin and more about how it has a play on your lifestyle. So certain lifestyle choices when you come to eating with your diet or general your lifestyle habits at work okay, affect your body differently. So what insulin predominantly does is a hormone. So with this hormone, it gets stimulated by food uh, and more importantly, sugar. So every time we eat, okay, we have a little bit of a hormonal response. So what this happens is that if we eat uh, a Mars bar, it, your insulin will spike through the roof. If you have something along the lines of lowering sugar, something like an apple, okay, or a piece of protein, a piece of meat, okay, it won't spike as high. So the whole thing what I wanna do is just show you a few examples of what your current lifestyle habits do and see which one you fit in. So the first one at the top, it's the typical okay, high sugar diet. So usually it's people are having three meals a day, but they tend to have a, a Nutella for breakfast okay, on toast. They tend to have a lunch, they may have um, a bag of crisps, they may have um, some chocolate of some form. But this is what we're looking for. Okay? We, this red line is the ideal blood sugar level. Okay, a healthy blood sugar. So we want to keep as close as we can to that. So what normally happens if you have cereal for breakfast, okay, you have a massive spike okay, of your sugar. Okay, and then all of a sudden your insulin levels will drop throughout the day as you start to, um, the simple sugars and the process starts to wear down. And then you have something for lunch again, again, and it spikes up and drops down. That's if you have poor choices in your food and in your prepared food. Usually it is uh, grab and go food. And the next one down, so this is the same again, okay, the red line being the healthy blood sugar level, we wanna keep as close as we can to that. So we wake up in the morning, we're right on the, on the line, okay, just an example. Then all that happens is if you skip breakfast, it goes down because you don't have any insulin for it spoken of. Okay, if you have, don't have any lunch, okay, it continues going down. Now all of a sudden in the afternoon when you get a mid-afternoon slump, and in the office, the sweets going around, cakes are going around, okay, you'll have a massive little spike again, and then that's the only meal you eat, then it'll start dropping down again. So sustainable energy, this rolls on day after day after day after day. So in terms of losing fat and losing weight, you won't do it because your body is holding on to that weight loss. So what my tip is for you to do this, is try and average out your meals throughout the day. So have a healthy breakfast, okay, spikes up, have something to snack as it starts to drop down, and then lunch drops down, and so on and so forth. So if we can keep your energy sustained throughout the day, okay, it'll be a much more beneficial diet for your weight loss and your fat loss.